Hi, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. And in today's short Power BI training video, I want to make you aware of a feature that was released in July of 2020 in Power BI. And that is gradient colors on your charts that you can use to add better insights into the data that you're seeing. There's a couple of different options. So I'm going to walk you through those. So let's get started. Okay, to show you how to use gradients, I've pulled up one of my sample Power BI files that I've built out and published. Um, so you can see I've got multiple different bar charts, uh, pretty basic with some different colors. It's really just showing sales by category, region, and segment. So what I want to do is turn that into um, something a little better using the gradient. So I've copied the sheet over. Well, on the first one, I'm going to take my sales by segment. Uh, to use the gradient, it's pretty easy. Click on the chart that you want and then go down to data colors and hit the function bar. And you'll see it comes up with, um, I've got a couple of different options for the first one. We're just gonna keep it on the color scale. And I'm really just gonna pick the darkest color for the maximum value and the lightest color in that band and hit okay. So just like that, we've added color gradient. Same thing on this one, it's the same process. Um, you know, you can make it as colorful as you want. In this case, because blues are on here a couple of times, I'm actually gonna use this lower blue over here. So I've got a longer, and you can hit diverging and it'll put a, a middle value in there if you want that. Um, so I'll click that so you can see how that looks. I'm gonna show you one of these other options. So color scale is what we've been using, but I actually wanna do uh, rules-based. So this is kind of your, your classic KPI. All right, so on my sales by city, I want to do something a little bit different, and that is use the rules-based. So I'm going to do format by rules and create the traditional KPIs. So here, if I'm greater than 75% and I want my KPI to be green, I'm going to add a new rule that if my value is greater than or equal to 50% and less than 75, make sure you change this to percentage. Go ahead and make that 100, just to keep it consistent. Um, hit a new rule, and then here, if it's greater than or equal to 0%, but less than or, equal, or less than 50%, make sure you change that. So now I've got red, I'm gonna make this gold and red. So that's my classic KPI bands. I'm gonna apply that, and here you can see New York City is over 75%, and the rest here are yellow, and then finally, my reds go on down. So that can actually be pretty helpful to, to let people see um, what's going on in your data. Okay, so now that you know how to create gradient scales and rule-based scales, the last piece is to apply a legend. So I'm gonna use the sales shift to date, go over to my data colors. Once again, I'm just gonna pick, this is fine, right? So I've got that. But here, if my legend is on, you'll see it puts a little legend up here with the gradient. So I'm gonna go back to the first two that we did and just turn the legends on. So you can see this one's giving you the minimum and the maximum value. This is the one that had the divergent scheme in it. So it actually puts the midpoint in there as well. So as you go through this, use the legends. Uh, it actually helps a lot to explain the data going on. This one, because it's rule-based, you'll see you don't have the option for a legend because it's actually putting the calculations onto the values here. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the section below the video. If there's other topics that you have questions on that you'd like to see, please leave those as well. I'm always looking for great ideas for new content. Thanks and have a great day.